Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here, and today we'll be reviewing the VTech Padded Sling 2 Point. <clears throat> this is the version 2. The original version had a few differences, which we'll be covering in this video. So, that said, we have a version 2 here on a VFC SR16, Airsoft, and it's actually pretty fancy. So, the main thing you'll see here is that they upgraded these little D-ring buckles from plastic to metal and included this little, I don't know, elastic sock thing or whatever the official professional term is for it. And you can mount that. There's two of them. And you mount the extra bit through here. And then the other part, you mount through the front. And I've made the slight modification of adding some uh, custom elastic to help keep the extra, whereas most people would tend to cut it. So, as you can see, it sits pretty comfortably. And there is a quick adjusting strap. So this, which actually says VTAC on it, is a little sort of plastic, uh, rubberized leather, whatever you want to call it, sewn in, and it works as a quick tightening strap. So I can tighten that up and have my rifles it higher. And there's a release cord right here, which works with a spring and a buckle, so it's it open back up. So the quick adjustment thing is something I'd seen before. There is a more generic plastic buckle two point with a thumb loop that made similar adjustments, but its problem is that the butt end didn't uh, didn't directly attach to a separate piece and it had to be, well, it slides through. So if you have a fixed butt stock, it's not a big problem because this will slide through the, uh, the sling ring, but with any sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for, the quick detach sort of swivel mounts, the swivel is really what causes this to twist up and become problematic. Additionally, there's no padding to help disperse the weight of the weapon. So, is this thing released? What's interesting is you can bring it forward and ready to aim and everything. And this padding, which is a closed sort of cell, closed cell, some esoteric terminology because I'm terrible at reviews. And it's actually surprisingly comfortable and takes the weight of the weapon quite well. And additionally, you can always quick transition left hand under and around to put the weapon behind you to free up your hands. Acts as a handgun or anything crazy. And it's ready as soon as you need it again, so... It's nice. You can see the padding constantly sits at the back of the neck or with the arm through. It's incredibly comfortable and incredibly versatile. I've got it going through the buttstock and attached via quick detached silver link to the front, which doesn't have the freedom to move around a lot. And the magazine pops out and in with ease. So, what is there to say? Well, it makes a lot of sense as to why my good buddy was recommending this. So, taking it off, you can close this up if you want to. See this VTAC, a little logo and everything in there. So, basically, the release and the quick detach, as you can see, separated right here. And this is completely separated from here, which allows this to be the swivel point, and with all this taken care of up here, no problems. So, it is simple. It's not the simplest. I have read people did not particularly care for this uh, band for the quick adjustment or apparently just didn't really care for the adjustment in general, but I've been running the same, uh, where is it? The, it's right over here. It's still got the D-ring attached, or the single point attached, the single uh, point Spec Ops wolf hook, which would attach directly to the plate carrier and into the gun. Right through the back end right here is where I was keeping it, so. That was working effectively, but with all one points, you had the flail, so I had to get an extra piece to hold that in place. And even so, this weight distribution is sufficiently nicer spread out over a two-point sling than it is over a one-point where all the weight would sit singly on the shoulder. So, so far it's been far more comfortable to wear, so if you do long hikes or anything crazy, and the addition to quickly and effectively move it behind you, makes a lot of other things easy. Now, there are people, well, there's one guy, really. There's not too many people I've heard who actually prefer three points. But the problem I've always had with three points is I've found, as we're about to cover here, that when you have a two point, you can shoot here just fine, but with a three point, you can't transition over to the other side to shoot from here. Now, the problem is, this is starting to choke me. But that's not the key problem. As long as I keep the stock in tight and this loose, it's not going to be able to choke me. I can still fire from here. 
It's more of a desperation tactic if you need to move quickly from shoulder to side, but you can do it. It's not the, as easy as with a one point, per se, but the extra support is nice. And how so? Well, if you are engaging from quite some distance, I have a bit of free time, free room to work with here, obviously, you can bring my arm in and actually catch part of the, sl the uh, I can talk, I swear. I can actually catch part of the sling to help improve the accuracy a wee bit. Additionally, by tightening it ever so slightly, I can actually mm -hmm. bring mm -hmm. my aim left or right, mm -hmm. naturally, mm -hmm. a bit more efficiently. And additionally, with the appropriate tightness, if I'm aiming left far, if I'm aiming right far enough, I can use the sling as a complete brace, and the weapon will stay far more steady than were I just using the strength of my arms alone. And the strength of my arms is pretty good, but the addition of sling and uh, basically every principle of marksmanship within the Marine Corps requiring skeletal muscle precision and all that good stuff, it really does help. And then, of course, when you don't need the weapon, it can go behind you. So you can climb ladders and do all the cool, super tactical stuff. Yeah! Oh, my weapon didn't fall off my back. Isn't that nice? I can move my legs. Because it's not on a one point, so freeze up everything. And yeah, so pretty awesome. Is basically what I'm getting to now. The price is around the $50 range, whereas the cheaper ones were in the, uh, well, let's say $20 range or so. So you're spending $30 extra, but it's $30 extra for quality. And if you do have to carry a firearm, be it for airsoft or IRL, this uh, padding is going to be a lifesaver. Even if you have to stand point or stand guard duty, which, okay, I'll do my three point sling tangent real quick. Great idea for an MP5. Attempts to combine a one point with a two point, and instead of giving you all the benefits, it really causes more problems, I'd say. Is the three point, or the three point for me was constantly in the way of reloading or moving, or attempting to transition shoulders. You can't do this with a three-point. Try though you may. It will not happen, or you'll choke yourself out, or you're a witch if you succeed, so. That's the whole thing, but yeah, two points. Two points have been around for quite some time, and you can even take the, uh, the web sling type versions and wrap them around one arm for proof stability, but instead of that, now we have this fancy little speed adjuster. And the speed adjuster has these two pieces of Velcro on it. So you can even just pop this completely free, if you so desire. Free it from the clean move. You could super tighten your rifle to your chest and have a tail, which not too many people like any gear flailing around, or at least they shouldn't. But if they do, well that's there, then you can just bring this back over and it will help keep all your gear nice and tidy and looking spiffy. So, I'm actually probably going to start using this. The other key issue I had with the wolf sling was that I had to wear the plate carrier to use it. If I wasn't wearing the plate carrier, then the weapon had to be carried the entire time, and cradled like a little baby. Which isn't necessarily bad unless you need your hands for something, so. Again, this quick little transition maneuver I've been growing quite fond of over the past uh, few days, so. Yeah, it's comfortable and it's awesome and I very much like it, so kudos to Redbeard for basically recommending the sling so much that I finally got around to looking into it and ordering one and I'm quite excited to see all the fun, super awesome, tactical, super cool things I can do with this. So, that being said, that's pretty much the entirety of the review. I mean, although the sling has a few more bells and whistles than most, they're all well designed and well integrated and they work phenomenally so yeah um i suppose the only thing is that i mean i had to add this little uh, attachment to keep the extra sling down but you can cut it or i don't know they could do that cool thing where they sew a bit of extra velcro into the end of the sling so you can roll it up and wrap it yourself but it's it's not really a big deal i mean it doesn't doesn't distract, detract any stars or make me want to change my opinion about the rifle at all. It's really, it's what slings really come down to is can they accomplish the mission at hand and do they match your personal preference? 
Because the one point sling has the most freedom of movement, but we're going to need stability if we're going to be holding the weapon for a longer period of time. And a three point sling is great, but it's generally considered more of a pogue guard duty sort of thing, so. But hey, to each their own. No, well, technically, no right or wrong in this. If you can have your weapon and you can bring your weapon to bear on hostile forces in a timely manner, then that's really all that matters, so. If you need it, great. If you don't, also also awesome. You, there's alternatives out there. Otherwise, we would have all been like, this is the greatest sling of all time. All of the slings be damned. And that would have been the end of it. And since that's not the point, two points, get it? Nah. That's, that's not the point. Uh, this is what we got. So awesome. That's the entirety of this review. I mean, I'll, I could try to show you guys more, but that's pretty much the epitome of it. It's brilliant, it's well made, and this padding is a lifesaver. Your back and shoulders will thank you. But yeah, so that's all I got here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm definitely enjoying this new sling. And yeah, so I'll see you guys all in the next video for the next fun thing I, I plan to review. Hint, it's sitting right there. and. By review, I mean I'm going to film it now. I'm just going to upload it separately. So, cheers everyone. America.